What is going on guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over all of my ideas for potential area rethemes at Thor Park Resort. Now obviously recently we've been getting loads and loads of teasers for this whole initialising thing. Hopefully that will be announced very very soon but this will try not to be linked to that because I've talked about that quite a lot recently. Uh, but obviously I will be making a video as soon as that is announced. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it is Wednesday. A lot of people are predicting uh, that it will be on the 19th with like past and recent kind of uh, announcements. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that does happen. So yeah, pretty much in today's video, I'm just going to be going over all of the areas that I kind of think at Thought Park would need a retheme, and as well as that, I'm sharing my ideas and thoughts uh, on what potentially could be coming for that retheme because uh, obviously we've seen throughout 2020 and 2019 or everything that's coming this year uh, that. Merlin does look like they're trying to strive towards uh, re-themes and kind of freshening up parts of the park because obviously with you know the Gangster Granny ride and the World of David Williams over on Towers obviously that's kind of revamping Cloud Cuckoo Land which was quite a dull place at Alton Towers and they do look like they're trying to work towards bringing that back to life. Obviously over at Chessington we got the re-theme with the rainforest then over in Legoland next year it's opening the Lego movie world uh, which will be quite cool which is another re-theme of, of an area so it is very very clear to me that if this is something that uh, Merlin are kind of working towards uh, so yeah I'm pretty sure along the line somewhere Thought Park will see a re-theme of certain areas uh, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be talking about in today's video so if you do go on to enjoy it make sure to like and subscribe uh, it definitely means a lot to me I post weekly videos on Monday Wednesday and Friday all about the Merlin parks and just theme parks in general so if that does interest you uh, definitely feel free to subscribe so with all that said let's get right into the video okay so first we're going to be starting off with something that a lot of people will have probably expected and that is Old Town now Old Town uh, is a very very interesting place in which it's had some quite large things happen there uh, but don't necessarily stay there because obviously we did have all the Fright Night stuff there over the last couple of years obviously you had the Walking Dead Living Nightmare this year we had Creek Freak so at certain times in the year it is a very active place but when you take a look at it during the season and just like any time during the season really other than Fright Nights it is a very 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 dead place uh, obviously back when they had loggers there it was very very different obviously that was kind of a large attraction uh, in Old Town but then obviously once that was closed they kind of tried to bring it back to life uh, with Timber Tug and Lumber Jump but in actual fact it kind of just took you away from it when you go in and you walk through Old Town and you see the Timber Tug and you see uh, Lumber Jump it doesn't exactly fit in with the colour scheme really like the only thing that really fits in with the theme is the name uh, so yeah safe to say that this area is dire in dire need of a retheme uh, but even just general clean ups around it even just a repaint on things like I said like Lumber Jump and Timber Tug could really really do benefits um, for you know the area itself obviously with it being you know cowboy themed it is a huge area when you think about it it stretches right from uh, just at the end of where Jungle Escape is all the way pretty much up to Saw because Saw technically is incorporated with Old Town which you know I can see uh, but yeah I hope this will get rethemed but in terms of what uh, or when we could be potentially seeing this I could see maybe seeing this as the next huge investment for Thought Parts to kind of get the teeth stuck into plainly because obviously retheming an area and then kind of planting something big there uh, would very much do Old Town very very well whether or not it is sticking to the cowboy theme I don't know a lot of people have been saying they would love an RMC where you know loggers is and it will be themed to cowboys and stuff really to bring back the area uh, but yeah, it could be something completely different. In terms of what I think it could be rethemed to, uh, I do actually have a couple of ideas, and that is mainly what I'm going to be focusing on in today's video, just talking about what I think could be coming to these areas. Uh, the first one is actually a futuristic area. Now, obviously, we have been seeing these sort of teasers recently, uh, so this is kind of fresh in my mind right now. Uh, however, I do not believe this is what we will be getting. I believe that will be something to do with stealth, but I will get onto that uh, in just a second. However, uh, I feel like a futuristic kind of town thing would be very, very cool and kind of fitting. Uh, obviously, Old Town, you know, has quite a bit of space in it, like I said earlier. Like, if you kind of transported a uh, slammer away from the equation, you could have a nice new flat ride there. Uh, like I said, with the coaster where Loggers is, you could potentially have a nice maybe Mac Multi launch or something like that. Uh, and obviously, yeah, it'd just be a really, really immersive area. Uh, don't get me wrong, Old Town is immersive, but it, like I said, like stuff like Timber Tug and Lumber Jump do take you out. And with, with Loggers, without luggage it's kind of not really the same is it so uh, yeah hopefully at some point we'll see something like this happen uh, to kind of freshen it up the other you know sort of theory I did have for this is potentially a sawmill theory uh, now obviously with the whole hoo-ha about you know saw alive and saw itself whether or not the IP is going to run out uh, while I was thinking about 
video ideas potentially talking about that. By the way, if you do want to see that, me talking about what could potentially happen with Saw, uh, definitely let me know. But I was kind of thinking uh, back to Fright Nights. Obviously, with Creep Freak Massacre, that went down extremely well. Uh, and obviously, really did fit in with the Old Town theme. So, I kind of got, started thinking to myself, could we see Saw being rethemed into a sawmill? Because um, I think this could really, really work extremely well. See, the whole indoor bit, keep all the traps, just theme it to sort of like lumbering equipment and sort of sawmill theming. Uh, and I think this could really work. Obviously, the rotating blades, you can still keep that. Like, pretty much all of the saw theming could be kept, other than the things like obviously Bully the Puppet and stuff like that. And it could still feel very, very much like saw, but you know, with an off brand on it. So, maybe thought going for something like this and um, kind of transporting it into uh, Saw's kind of facade could actually really, really work in terms of Old Town, like say Creek Freak would almost belong there at that point. Uh, you could have maybe a Dark Ride if they did want to add something big there. Uh, like I said, potentially New Coast. There's so many opportunities they could go with if they went with that. And that's enough rambling about Old Town. Let's get on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about. Okay, so moving on to the next area I'm going to be talking about, and that is Angry Birds Land. Now, obviously, Angry Birds Land opened way, way back. I'm pretty sure it was in like 2015. Uh, and obviously, back then, it was kind of a worldwide phenomenon. You know, everyone that had the Angry Birds on their phone, everyone was playing it. But now, as the years started to pass, it comes more, you know, prevalent that this is kind of getting old now. And the thing is with Angry Birds is it's got so much potential within it. Obviously, the 4D cinema, Detonator, uh, and obviously all that space that they use for the kind of dodgems and stuff is all still there. Uh, but the one main thing that does kind of put me off of Angry Birds Land is actually the fact that it is in the middle of Amity. Now, obviously, when you're walking from the beginning of the dome all the way to Stealth, you pass through Amity, you see Tidal Wave, you're really in the spirits, and then you come across this ice door, which is Angry Birds Land. So you walk through Angry Birds Land, you move through, then you get back into Stealth, and you kind of get back into the Amity feel. And I feel like that interruption within the middle there really does take you away from the immersion. Uh, and obviously, way back before Angry Birds Land, this kind of was more of a neutral theme. You could say it was kind of themed to Amity, but it wasn't necessarily like specific to it, but it still felt like you were there if you didn't go to the attractions and stuff. You know, and you know, it still had that kind of charm to it. However, Angry Birds Land doesn't, and I feel like a lot of kids now don't really appeal to Angry Birds as much as they did back then. Uh, so yeah, potential re for Angry Birds Land would really, really work for me. The only way I think I could see this kind of coming back with a re-theme is if they incorporate stealth with it. Now, obviously, this is going to be a really controversial topic now because we're getting into sort of teaser territory here. Obviously, recently, we have been getting the teasers with the whole initialising thing, and obviously, stealth is quite a big thing about it. We had a teaser yesterday where it kind of had people blanking their face out. Everyone said this could be their defacing stealth and they could be re-theming it. And I feel like if stealth is going to get re-themed, Angry Birds Land needs to go down with it, plainly because... Like I said, the potential, you know, having it as more of an area itself than just Stealth Plaza would be so cool. But the one main thing that I kind of, kind of, you know, put me off for this is the fact they probably don't have enough time to do this. They probably haven't done it. It's probably not even what they're planning to do. But I feel like if Stealth is going to get a retheme in the future, which I generally hope it doesn't, I hope that Angry Birds Land will be a part of it, plainly because obviously it will make it feel more like a larger area. Okay, so thinking what this could kind of be rethemed to then, obviously the first thing that does come to mind is these initialising teasers. Uh, obviously with it all being revolved around Stealth and that sort of kind of area, uh, it is obviously the first thing to my mind that does jump to it. Uh, but yeah, something like a futuristic theme could be very, very cool. I mean, thinking about it, the one thing I've always said, if they are ever to re-theme Stealth and they are ever to do it, I would love a sound or light tunnel across the launch. Now, obviously, these kind of do entail like a tunnel that kind of projects LEDs and stuff. And the futuristic thing probably could do this a lot of justice. Uh, like I said like earlier, I don't really want Stealth to be rethemed, but if it is to, I would love that sort of element. In terms of Angry Birds Land, there is a lot you could possibly do with a futuristic theme. Obviously, the whole, you know, 4D cinema, you could have like a futuristic kind of experience there. Detonator, you can have a really nice kind of themed area 
uh, sort of attraction there. And obviously with the shop that they've got there, it could easily be turned into a futuristic shop. Like I said, when you start to nitpick and you start to find different things in Angry Birds Land, the potential kind of comes to start uh, and kind of, you know, resonates with you because you start to realise that there are many attractions in here that would fit with very, very cool themes. And I have, you know, I hope like they do retheme it at some point because, yeah, like I said, it's an eyesore uh, and it could have a lot more potential. In terms of what other things I could potentially be seeing happening here, uh, potentially we could see maybe uh, it be themed back to Amity again. And this is something I would actually really, really, really love at the park is, is for them to just retheme this back to Amity and kind of have a massive overhaul on that and stealth and kind of really bring it back to life and bring it back to Amity because, you know, I'll be over the moon with that if they were to do it because, like I said earlier, it really does take away from the experience of walking through Amity. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just what it is really, isn't it? Uh, but hopefully that does happen, but you know, the way Thorpe are going, I don't really see that uh, maybe coming to light. The last thing I'm going to be talking about in today's video is actually kind of a controversial one, but that is the Lost City. Now obviously, the Lost City has got colossus in it, it's got a number of flat rides, it's probably one of the better areas in the park. However, when you start thinking about, you know, it, you know, in detail, the kind of colossus area especially, doesn't really look fresh and new. Now the one thing I want from this isn't necessarily a complete overhaul of the theme and a complete change. I would just like it to be freshened up and added a little bit more theming in there for the Lost City. Because obviously before, uh, I think it was in 2017, before then, it wasn't known as the Lost City. Everyone just had to kind of guess what it was about until they started releasing, you know, the promotional areas when that was when Old Town and Lost City and everything started to get named. Uh, and when you kind of think about it, you know, this could actually potentially be really cool. Like some more theming around Colossus would be absolutely phenomenal, uh, especially some large set pieces. If they are really, really serious about keeping it, I think that could really, really work well for the park. Maybe leave alone places like Russian that, because uh, that is the more of kind of, you know, that's more clean, that is more kind of fresh at the moment. But definitely Colossus area I could do with some massive large theming elements, a definite repaint and you know, other than that, I don't really think that there's anything else in, you know, the Lost City that could be rethemed. I just feel like it just needs a little bit more of an overhaul and a little bit more of a freshen up uh, if they are very, very serious about, you know, keeping it there. Because obviously I've talked about this before on the channel, uh, potentially it being, you know, removed or, you know, a complete retheme. If they are dead certain, uh, certain that they do want to keep it, then I definitely think that, you know, it should have at least a little bit of an overhaul with it uh, in terms of, like, theming-wise. But, yeah, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, definitely think about subscribing. Uh, I will have another video out on Wednesday as well as Friday as well. Uh, definitely leave any you know suggestions down in the comments below and I will try and read and reply to as many of you guys as I can. Uh, but yeah, look forward to them videos. And obviously, like I said at the beginning, Thought Park, I think, is very, very close to announcing uh, their 2020 plans. Uh, so yeah, definitely stick around and turn notifications on if you are interested and want to be notified about that. So with all that said, I will see you guys later.